Hey guys, this is Casual Free to Play Gamer. We're going to go over barb hunting with an area effect commander so you can do multiple chain killing of barbs. I'm going to show you several different ways how to do this because not everybody has YSG, not everybody has Richard, not everybody has Minamoto, double C, but everybody does have at some point an Ethelfled. Everybody will have at some point a Lohar. So I'm going to show you different styles of commanders that can still do area effect chain barb. And while I was doing bastions, I noticed just by watching people that people understand that you can area effect chain barb, but they don't know how to do it properly. Now I'm not claiming to be the best, but there are little tricks that you can do that will help ensure that you can pull two, three, four, sometimes five mobs here. And I just got video of me pulling five mobs with Minamoto and YSG. So I'm going to show you how it can be done. Now back in the home kingdom, the barbarians are a lot easier. So you can use a peacekeeper commander with your YSG, or you can use Ethelfled with another commander and easily get long drawn out kills. Up here in Lost Kingdom, depending on your commanders, your crystal levels, all that stuff, you can get up to five barbarians killed before it's time to go home and heal. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is up here in Lost Kingdom. Now, of course, people with better accounts are going to be able to do this longer. People with maxed out richer can be able to do it longer. But this isn't for those people. This is for casual, free to play, and low spenders. So let's come over to this account here. We're going to use YSG and double C. Now, when I'm out barb hunting or forts or anything that's PVE, I always use a peacekeeping commander. It saves you a lot of AP down the road, especially if you're barb hunting and you're chain barb hunting, it's going to cost less AP to kill that barb, plus all the other barbs you pull in are going to be free. So you can actually barb hunt for a while. So right here is a great example of what you're looking for. You need to find stuff that are in a cluster, right? So we have a two cluster here, we have a four cluster here, and we have a four cluster here. Now with these, if done right, and depending on their pathing, you like you see how this one just walked away and this one walked away so right now these guys are spread out so far that's going to be hard to get all four now if you just sit and watch how they path while your march walks over it's going to show you how you're going to want to hit these guys now this is two level 46s a 44 and a 44 to hit all four of these with what i have is going to demolish me so i do not want to hit four of these i want to hit three of these so let me show you a big mistake that i see before i go over and target these so they're attacking this, they're going to grab their commander, and then they're going to walk towards another one. Well, when you're fighting and you start walking in a long path, it's going to walk away. You're going to lose it. So what you want to do is you want to slightly move in like a zigzag or a very short stagger movement. And I'll show you with this one here. So let me come over here. I'm going to hit this one. All right. So I hit this one. Now it's pathing was going up. So I'm going to slightly move this way a little. And now it's going to follow me. All right, and then I'm going to slightly move this way a little, and it's going to follow me. And then I'm going to slightly move this way a little. And see how I'm zigzagging? And I always want to maintain contact with them, but now I should be in a range to be able to hit another one. Watch, I'm going to lose it now. I went too far. Oh, there he goes. So now I just pulled two more in with YSG. So I took this barbarian from up this area, and I walked him down this area. Now, if I want to go get this one over here, I'm going to slightly move this way just a little. Just so I maintain contact with this one, because if I walk too far, it's going to lose combat. Now with YSG, that area effect should hit the 41, and it does. So that's the key on these is your position and your movements. You cannot break away. So right now I'm fighting two level 45, so they're going to take a big bite out of me. Now on my Minamoto, which is a lot stronger than double C, I can handle five mobs. With double C, I can usually do about four. And if you throw the 46 down there, then that's just too much for me. So we're going to show you this one. Then I'm going to show you a five kill with Minamoto. As you can see, I'm doing a Bastion. So I'm going to get four out of 50 with just one pull. So if you look up here, I use very little AP to kill four barbs. Now, I know some people are saying, well, this was ineffective. Why don't you just take out a five-man march? Well, if I'm going for a lot fast, I will. But if I'm going for something like this, I don't. So let's go heal this one. All right, so let's go get an Ethelfled, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you how to do it with Ethelfled. I only need one more. Ethelfled's not as strong as double C, but it will be strong enough to show you how to do it with Ethelfled and another commander. All right, so the next commanders we're going to try is going to be Ethelfled and Sun Tzu, or you can try Ethelfled and Baybars. So let's go find some barbarians to kill. All right, so we're walking up, and like I said before, Ethelfled has a wide fan base in front of her. 
Sun Tzu is the smaller, so you really have to position yourself to where you want to hit. So, like with Ethelfled, you can hit on the side here. Okay, see how this one's walking away? So this one's going to make it harder for us, so you can either find another one. Okay, now this one's really walking away. So you can find another one, or you can do the dance. I'm going to try showing you how to do the dance. So we're going to come hit, and then we're going to take small steps. Oh, now it's really walking away. See, what we're doing is we're taking small steps, because we always want to maintain contact with this fighter here. Oh, I might have walked out too far, and if I did, it's going to show you. Okay, there we go. Look at this one's running from us. All right, let's see if I got too far. Okay, so now I'll see. Oh my God, this guy's making it difficult. All right, let's try it again. Okay, see now how I'm positioned? Oh, <laughs> you little son of a gun. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this one. But we did take it far. And he's just out of position. See, now he's behind me, so there's no way I can hit him unless I pull him all the way around. But he's going to die too fast. This shows you that this style can be just a big pain in the butt. Now, I pulled him from down here all the way up to here, so we did the dance. This 46 went from here all the way up and around behind us. So now he's coming back down. So this is why watching the pathing is good. Okay, we're going to need to go back and heal, and we're going to do this again. But that was a great example of how to pull towards your mobs without losing the other one. But sometimes it just doesn't play out. This is why AOE barb farming is a big pain in the A without YSG. But it can be done. Now this is what you're looking for. You're looking for these clumps here. Because that is the best way to pull multiple. Don't look for stuff like... Actually, this one isn't bad here, but it's so far away that you got to move around a lot. We don't want to move around a lot because you always have the chance... Of letting one slip by and if you let one slip by especially the one that you pulled in the beginning you just lost all your AP so if you look at this pathing it's already starting to split upon itself these two up here were pretty constant so they haven't split yet this one moved up and this one moved down so I'm gonna change my target over to here now with ethel I'm gonna hit this 44 here and then I'm gonna pull back a little where my fans gonna hit these other ones up oh, see there it goes let me get it real quick now what sucks is these little icons are sticking out. You can't see where you're going because I need to go down. So I'm going to pull back and I need to maintain. So now I'll be able to get all three of these. And here they are. Now if I wanted, if this wasn't a 46 and a 45, I could shimmy down here and get these also. But those would just tear me apart. Now if I wanted to get this one here, all I would do is I would turn this way a little, face an ethyl fled this way, and then her fan would hit this. All right, so we just got another three barbs, and it's pretty time-consuming. This is why I just usually use a five-man Peacekeeper March, and I'll show you that later. Let's turn up the flood in. Let's go get Sun Stew. So that's my main account, and I do have Minamoto. I won a big prize at Christmas time a few years ago, and that's when I bought Minamoto. And this has been the best investment in the game because I use him every single day, and this is my main Fort Killing Commander. This commander is just a beast. So usually with this account, I'm going to use Minamoto and YSG. Killing Forts, I'm going to use Minamoto and Double C. We're going to grab Sun Tzu. And then let's grab another infantry commander. And we're going to grab Bjorn. All right, why my Sun Tzu and Bjorn get in place? As you can see, this is a great place for area effect. If you have YSG, you can just map up this whole area. These two are epic commanders, so... Pulling four is not advisable. Two, maybe three at the most. I'm going to try to pull two at first. I might get three. Depends on my health. I can try for four. I'm going to get on this side of them so my area effect hits to the right. I should be able to hit two on this one. Yep, there we go. I'm going to see how well Sun Tzu does here. If he does okay, I'm going to try to go for the 44. So we're going to take a small step. I'm going to take another small step. And there, there we go. Now we're going to get the 44, maybe the 41 also. Nope, just the 44. With Epic Commanders in Lost Kingdom, I would only do two. I wouldn't go three. Like I said, it did better than I thought they would. So we'll just let it play out. If I die, I die. So another one just crossed in my path. I'm not going to be able to beat all these. All right, so we're going to go home, break contact. We're going to heal. And then the last one I'm going to show you is with Richard and YSG. I'm going to show you how what they do if your Richard isn't maxed. Let's go heal and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm getting Richard and YSG into place. This is a great area for Richard and YSG. But if I pull all this with 
Richard and YSG. My Richard's 5311 and my YSG's max. This would just eat me alive. So I'm actually going to bring it down here and then I'm going to hit and then we're going to see what we can get. I want to stay away from that 46. That 46 will eat me. All right. So now we have three. I'm going to move down here just a little so I can keep all these within my fighter. And now we just pulled a fourth. Oh, see, we lost one right up there. And that was nothing we did. He's just pathing. So I broke combat. He came down here outside of his path. See, he starts way up here. His end path is here. I pulled him past his end path. If you pull something past the path distance that they can go, they're just going to reset. All right, so I'm going to let Richard and YSG take out a couple of these. Then I'm going to try to go this way and pull a couple more. But this just shows you why YSG and Richard is a force to be reckoned with with area effect barb hunting. All right, that 46 just came down. I'm going to move to the... Actually, we still got three on us. If you look, we still have three. So we just took four. I just moved up. I'm going to try to pull this 46. No. Nope. Oh, I did pull it. Okay, so now I just pulled this 46. These are pretty tough, so I'm going to beat on this for a while. And then I'm going to try to go up and pull these two also. Actually, I might be able to squeeze up here just a little bit and get this next one. Richard's area of effect is hitting these, but YSG's is not big enough. So we're going to go this way just a touch. And then we're going to grab this one. If you had a stronger Richard, or if you were in the home kingdom, you could just do this all day. So with one use of AP, you could skirt around and hit every single one of these. See, that 46 is just eating me alive. And see, this one's coming, so I need to get out of the area, or I'm going to pull that one. But now we're going to pull this one, which is a 40-something, which is fine. So now we just grabbed another one. If I grab that 46 right there, then I'm in trouble. Looks like that one might path down into us, which would be nice. Yep, we got him too. All right, once this top left one dies, I could easily go over and get the 46. All I'd have to do is skirt over, which I might show you, but I'm not going to be able to beat it because I'm already low health. That was our sixth kill with one AP. But all I would do is just do a nice little side shuffle over here. I'm maintaining combat. Then I do a nice little side shuffle here. And now we're going to pull this one. Okay, so now there's, now there's a 45. I'm going I'm to skirt up alongside of this, so I maintain combat. See, I'm still in combat here. I'm not going to break it. And then I can come just a little bit farther and I'm going to get that 45. It's not smart because I'm going to lose, but I'm just showing you. And there we got the 45. Now, if I want to get this one too, I can skirt down this way. And now, now we got them all. So as you can see, I just took out this whole area with Richard and YSG. If my Richard was maxed, I would have no problem with this because I would have more heals. I'd have more buffs. But at 5311, I'm just not strong enough to be able to do this. I'm going to break combat because I can't do this. But this is a good example of what you can do with a YSG and a Richard combination. So here is the reports from my Richard and YSG. So with one AP, we took out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I had a better Richard, we could have took out eight, nine, ten. We could have taken out at least ten with a better Richard. So with one AP use, I've got all these buffs and crystals. Which really stacks up. And the last three I broke combat. But that's pretty good for one AP use. Alright guys, let's conclude the video of Area Effect Chain Barbarian Pulling. We covered a lot of ground. I showed you some tricks. I showed you some video on how to do it. I showed you how to use Richard and YSG. I showed you how to use Double C Minamoto with YSG. I showed you how to do Ethel Fled with Sun Tzu and Sun Tzu with Bay Bars. But there's a lot of options. In Lost Kingdom, I would use Richard and YSG if you can. Now, if you have a 5111, it's not that effective. Uh, 5311 was better, but if you have a 5511, it's pretty golden. And the higher, of course, you go, the better you're going to have. If you have a maxed Richard with a maxed out YSG, you're going to be able to pull a lot more than I did. And I was able to take seven before I had to run away. Minamoto with YSG can do about five. A double C with YSG can do about four. You also have Ethelfled in YSG. You can do Sun Tzu YSG. You can do Kira YSG. So there's so many options. Back home, if you don't have Richard, I would suggest using Lohar. I know Lohar gets a bad rap, but he really is a great peacekeeper commander for back home. Here, after every skill goes off, you're going to get 400 healing. After you defeat a Barbarian, you're going to get a healing factor of 2,000. Down here, you're going to get an extra healing factor of 500. So, after, so every Barbarian you kill, you're going to get 2,500 heal at the end of it. 
Here you're going to get 9% healing effects, which doesn't seem like a lot, but every time your heal goes off, you're going to get 450 plus 9%. Every time you kill a barbarian, you're going to get 2000 plus 9%. You're going to get 500 plus 9%. Down here, when you get healed, your attack's going to increase by 9%, which is going to do more damage for YSG. Here, you get reduced skill damage. Here, you're building rage. Here, you're building rage. With those two rage builds, your 450 skill is going to shoot off a lot faster. So you're going to get 450 plus 9%, and it's going to be really fast. And then the more skill that you shoot off, the more YSG does. So Lohar really does great back home if you don't have Richard. We also discussed that... Peacekeepers save you action points. So if you are using Lohar versus Richard, every Barbarian you kill, you're going to save more action points until you get a cap. So back home, I think it starts out at 50 action points. Then it goes down to 40. Then it goes down to 30. So every Barbarian you kill after you hit the 30 cap, you are doing 30 action points per Barbarian killed. As long as you stay out in the field. With Richard, you're doing 50. So think about that. Richard does 50. Lohar does 40. The next Barbarian you kill, Richard does 50, Lohar does 30. The next Barbarian you kill, Richard does 50, Lohar does 30. So as you can see, over time, you're saving action points, which means you can stay out there killing longer than Richard can. All right, so let's wrap this up. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have any tips and tricks, please leave them below. If you have any ideas for videos that you want to see for casual free to play, let me know. If I made a mistake during the video, let me know because I'm human. I make mistakes. I don't claim to be the best player out there, but what I do is I do observe and I try to figure out the best ways. It's kind of mid-maxing at casual free-to-play, which sounds kind of funny, but free-to-players need to mid-max as hard as they can to be able to compete. Even though we can't compete, we all know that. But to do the best we can, we need to mid-max, and that's what I do at my level. I don't do it at a higher level. This is Casual Free-to-Play Gamer. I'm out of here. See you.